Alright guys, so welcome to today's video, Chewing Weeble S versus Chewing Weeble 2 comparisons. I've been pretty busy, I wanted to release this video much earlier, but here we are. So first thing we're going to compare straight out of the box is the pricing. So pricing is the most important aspect when buying a gimbal or basically anything because it has to suit the budget. So we're gonna start off with the Shun Weeble 2. They are different variations, so that's why I'm gonna read it uh, to you. Uh, Shun Weeble 2, they comes uh, with four variations. First of all, the standard package, which only comes with the gimbal, that comes in at 550 US dollars. So basically, just the gimbal, and with all the accessories like the sling grip, the tripod, and the uh, quick adjustment plate, the camerizer and stuff, all that for 550 US dollars. And then second of all, we come to the combo set. This is the one that I bought. It comes in at 650 bucks US. So that's about a thousand bucks Singapore dollars. And basically it's just the gimbal with all the accessories of course. And it comes with a uh, carrying case, which is really cool, really high quality. That's why if, if you check the difference between the standard package and the combo, you're actually paying a hundred US for that bag. So if you do have a uh, another bag or a better bag than this, you can totally skip this because all th that is the difference is that one hundred and dollars chewing bag so uh, that comes in at 650 next one is the pro version so the pro version basically comes in at 900 us astronomical price 900 us and uh, what you're gonna get basically in the pro set is the gimbal with all the accessories the carrying case which costs a hundred bucks and you're gonna get the uh, focus motor. So that is an additional 250 bucks for the focus motor. Uh, so that is the Pro. And then the last one that we have is the Pro Plus version of the Tune Weeble 2. This actually is coming in at 1,099 US, which is wow. And this comes with, of course, the uh, gimbal and the accessories, plus the carrying case, the focus motor and what they have included last of all is the new video transmission transmitter AI. So uh, this will allow you to actually view your video from your camera basically onto that LCD screen on the Chewin Weeble 2. So that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, take a note for you guys who are using the Chewin Weeble S and the Crane maybe. Uh, or the older versions basically of the uh, Chewing Gimbals, the transmitter 2.0 that worked on the Chewing Weevil S and the Chewing Crane 3S and stuff, that doesn't work on this Chewing Weevil 2. They have a new product specifically for the Weevil 2, which I mentioned, which is the video transmission transmitter AI. So basically, if you want to get video on that really cool 2.88 inch screen for a Cheering Weevil 2. You need to get this video transmission transmitter AI. And in comparison to the Cheering Weevil 2, the Cheering Weevil S only has three different variations. The first variation, because this has been out for about two years or so, uh, so prices have dropped from the time when I bought it when it first launched. The standard kit, which I got uh, comes in at only 340 US dollars. Real bargain if you ask me. Really, really high quality product. Uh, the second one is coming with the uh, focus motor. 
and the focus motor comes in at about that means the gimbal plus the focus motor this comes in about 500 us dollars for those of you guys who want to use uh, manual focusing and the last of all the third variation of the weeble s is the one with the image transition pro kit which i mentioned this pro kit the image transition module does not work on the weeble 2 let me mention that again uh, this comes in at 560 us dollars so uh, even your most expensive pro kit 560 bucks is you know comes with everything it's the same price as the weeble 2's standard kit with nothing else just the gimbal and the accessories so that's a lot of consideration for you guys who are on a budget real difference in price there the weeble s full package focus motor image transition module 560 we will too, which is newer, better algorithm, standard package without anything else, 550. So a lot of consideration for you guys. So, so now we come to the physical aspects of the Tune Weevil 2 versus the Tune Weevil S. So we're gonna start off with the Weevil 2. Uh, this comes in at 1.5 kilograms with the tripod and the batteries and stuff. Whereas the Chin Weevil S actually comes in with the tripod and the batteries at only 1.1 kilograms. So for 0.4 kilograms difference between the two gimbals. So definitely the Weevil 2 is heavier. In terms of size as well, uh, it's, if you look on the screen, you can see that when the gimbal is folded in this kind of orientation, it comes in at about 40.5 centimeters. Uh, the Weeble 2 comes in at 40.5 centimeters. And the Weeble S comes in at about 37.5 centimeters. So not much of a difference in height when folded. Uh, but if you look at the width of it as well, it is the Weeble 2 is slightly wider because of that sling grip. But if you're like me and, you know, because the Weeble S actually comes with only one grip, but if you're like me, you just got another tripod to fix onto the Weeble S. When you mount the tripod on the sling grip, uh, it actually comes up to probably not much of a difference in the terms of the width. So just to take note, this Chin Weeble 2 is actually taller and slightly wider and heavier than the Weeble S. So most importantly, now we come to the payload and this one kind of gave me a shock. I was pretty surprised. Tune Weeble 2 guys, get a load of this. The payload for this, this is uh, actually from BHP Photo or bhphoto.com. The information is that the Tune Weeble 2's payload comes in at 3.3 kilograms or 7.3 pounds basically but the chain we will ask guys which is like i said smaller lighter and you know basically shorter than the weeble 2 and is also older can take payloads of up to 3.5 kilograms that means it can take heavier payloads than the new chain weeble 2 3.5 kilograms is 7.7 .7 pounds. So that gave me a shock because the new Chun Weeble 2 with its new algorithm, its uh, new technology and stuff, I always imagined it should be able to take uh, heavier payloads. That's the reason why they came up with this. But the payload did not improve. So that gave me a shock. So take note, if you are having a really heavy camera setup, go for the Chin Weeble S, which is a lot cheaper. Next up, battery life. This is also another surprise, if you were to ask me. Okay, battery life on the Chin Weeble 2, battery life is at nine hours, whereas the Chin Weeble S battery life is up to 12 hours. So the smaller and older Chin Weeble S has three to four hours, three hours longer battery life than the Chun Weevil 2. So, I mean, it's not like you're gonna, you're gonna film straight for you know, nine to 10 hours straight, but yeah, just pretty strange. 
they could have fit a bigger milliamp battery. Uh, I believe the Shin Weeble S is using a 2600 milliamp and the Weeble 2 is also using a 2600 milliamp. So same battery, but the Weeble 2 being, you know, the newer you expect, maybe a 27 or 2800 milliamp battery. Uh, it is bigger, so probably uses more resources than the Weeble S or, and especially with that LCD monitor, the touchscreen color LCD monitor. So take note, battery life on the Weeble S is better. But the charging time, guys, the charging time on the Weeble 2 is faster, 1.6 hours, whereas the charging time on the Weeble S is two and a half hours. So faster charging time on the Weeble 2, but less battery uh, life basically per charge. But the Weeble S has a longer battery life because it uses less resources, but it's also longer to charge. So basically I think they included a kind of fast charging kind of uh, implementation into the Weeble 2. So yeah, basically that's it. Okay, so one big difference on the Weeble 2 is the 2.88 inch touch enabled color LCD screen, which is a real, real game changer in my opinion. So nice, so big, you know, you can even view your video if you get that transition module that I was mentioning about. Really, really cool guys. I mean, that's the reason why I actually bought the Weeble 2 because of that 2.88 inch touch enable color monitor. So really cool. But one advantage in terms of the mounting of the camera process on the Weeble 2 is that the Weeble 2 uses the Arca Swiss slash Manfrotto adjustment plate. So that is a real uh, difference in my opinion. Basically, the Weeble 2, the way the quick adjustment plate is, is exactly like the DJI Ronin SC. So for you guys, this is a big consideration. For you guys who prefer the Arca Swiss design or the Manfrotto plate, whereby, you know, if you're using the gimbal and then you just want to take it off, if you want to take off the camera for a while, take a few photographs without using the gimbal, or you know, for ease, change of batteries and stuff, the Weeble S using that Arca Swiss Manfrotto quick adjustment plate is a lot, a lot more convenient. Yeah, basically that is a big thing to me because I'm using the Weeble 2 right now and I already can feel the hassle of not having that Arca Swiss slash Manfrotto quick adjustment plate. So that's a really big consideration, the price, and of course, you know, this Arca Swiss design. And of course the Weeble 2 with the 2.88 inch touch enable screen. So yeah, basically to me, it's really, really hard if I were to, if I didn't have both of these gimbals, I would probably buy the Tune Weeble S because of the Arca Swiss design. It can take heavier payloads. It's smaller, more compact. It has a longer battery life. Yeah, I, I mean the, I can always get the image transition module if I wanted to, which is really cheap as compared to the Weeble 2. So yeah, that's in my opinion, basically, if I didn't own both of them and right now I wanted to go out there for its price point, I would probably choose the Weeble S guys. So yeah. So that is the comparisons. Okay, so now we take a look at the feature comparison. Basically, all the modes between the two are exactly the same. POV, Go mode, uh, Vortex mode, uh, whatever mode, all the six modes. You can check it out on the screen. All of these six modes are the same. The only difference is that the Weeble 2 has an included mode called Portrait mode, which the Weeble S does not have. But not a real game changer for me. Basically the portrait mode is just for people who like to do TikToks. But I guess people who like to do TikToks, they would use something like a mobile phone gimbal, like the new DJI uh, Osmo Mobile 5 or something like that. Or if you're talking about Shi Yin, they have quite a few uh, mobile phone gimbals. So not a really big uh, difference in the features uh, for 
this new portrait mode which is available on the Chain Weevil 2. So now we talk about the last portion which is the Video Transmission Transmitter AI. So this is something new which only works on the Weevil 2. So this enables you to actually view the video basically which is on your camera's LCD actually able to view it on the LCD screen, the 2.88 inch LCD screen of the Weeble 2, which is really, really cool. And uh, you also can use an iPad or a smartphone. You can also view the video if you have this video transition transmitter module. This is important if you're doing professional work. And uh, basically, the guy holding the gimbal can look at the screen. And then someone else, which is maybe the director, is using the iPad or the smartphone and also viewing, you know, whatever the guy holding the gimbal is viewing. So that's really cool. If you don't want to use the iPad or the smartphone, Chuin also has the Chuyin Master Eye Visual Controller VC100. And the reason why I have to look at the screen for all this is because so many different name guys. So the Chuyin also has another device. Like I said, if you don't want to use a smartphone, you can also use this master eye control and you can also control the movement of the gimbal. So that's pretty neat. So these are for the more professional guys, uh, you know, the, the guys that, you, that are doing proper movies, advertisements and stuff. The Chuyin Weeble S uses the Transmount Image Transition Module, which uh, which is pretty popular, I guess. A lot of people are using it. And of course, if you want to uh, view the video that comes out of the camera on the Chuyin Weeble S, uh, you need the transition module, but you also need the uh, Transmount Image Transition Receiver. So of course, if you have the transmitter, you also need the receiver. So same thing, basically the guy holding the gimbal has no screen basically or you can mount you can also mount a, a smartphone onto the Chuyin Weeble S mount it, so you can view whatever he's filming and then the director or the guy in the background can use this transmount image transition receiver and see exactly what the guy the gimbal the the the, the guy of the gimbal is filming so that's really cool so uh, enabled with the iPads or the smartphones. So that's the difference between this confusing transition mm, transmitter AI on the Weeble 2 and the transmount image transition module on the Weeble S. So yeah, basically that's all the comparison between the two uh, gimbals, Chain Weeble S and Chain Weeble 2. If you ask me, like I said, again, um, I'm not a professional, so for me, the Chin Weeble S is perfectly fine, but I wanted an upgrade and I really, really was interested in this uh, 2.88 inch touch enabled color display. And of course, I will be uh, sometime down the road, I will buy the video transition transmitter AI for my Chin Weeble 2. Uh, not at the moment because I'm so busy with a lot of stuff. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. And of course, if you have any questions or comment below. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Be sure to check out my upcoming video whereby I'll be doing a new mount, the Sony A7C onto the Shun Weeble 2. So stay tuned for that guys. Thanks for watching and peace.